This is a common scene in many households around the world. The United Nations estimates that more than 3 billion people lack access to clean cooking. The smoke produced when cooking in confined spaces has serious health consequences, especially in women and children who inhale the smoke most. The search for fuel also has consequences on the environment when forests are destroyed to produce charcoal. One of the focal areas of SNV, Netherlands Development Organizations, is clean cooking. Through its Voice for Change Partnership Program, which is implemented in partnership with the International Food Policy Research Institute, or IFPRI, SNV works with civil society organizations to advocate for more attention to clean cooking within the policy agenda. In Kenya, one of the SNV partners is Growth Network, which brings together more than 3,000 community-based women's organizations and self-help groups. The main mandate of Growth Kenya is actually to ensure that grassroots women are participating in decision-making that affects their own lives. One of the ways that Groots works is through clean cooking community champions. We used to cook from a small kitchen that didn't have even ventilation. That resulted into me having eye problem up to today. When I joined Cruz Kenya and I was exposed to different counties where people use clean chico, actually I have saved time my health is improving. I'm able to see even without classes. And I have helped other women. Wali tufunza, tuwe tukienda huku manyumbani, tukienezea mamba ya clean cooking. Tulipo funza na Groot Kenya. Mimi nilitoka hapo nikaanza kuenezea mamba ya clean cooking. Kwa mana, hapo nilikuwa ninaenezea the Clean Cooking Champions was actually a strategy to, be, to help us reach to the county governments. So if we use them to advocate for any issue in the budget, it was going to be easier than just us speaking to the, to the, to the leaders. Because the leaders have to listen to the people who voted for them. We support the CSOs to generate evidence using current research and then we empower them to be able to integrate the information uh, that they are getting for advocacy. So using the women champions, they have been able to reach the governor. Fortunately, the governor in Kitui, who is also a woman, has been very responsive. And in that regard, you find that the policy processes have integrated and highlighted the role of improved cookstoves as a key agenda. In order to convince decision makers, Civil society organizations need compelling data that shows the scale of the problem and the consequences of not taking actions. This is a major gap in many advocacy programs and is therefore one of the areas that the Voice for Change Partnership focuses on. The launch of the community-led mapping study of the health impact of unclean cooking in Kitui County was therefore a major milestone towards better data. The issues we have somewhat factored in our county integrated development plan. This is also wealth creation. So in totality, what Ruth Kenya is doing is helping the county to move further in terms of development, in terms of wealth creation, in terms of women empowerment, youth, in every area. At the national level, the Voice for Change Partnership works with Clean Cook Stoves Association of Kenya, who have the expertise to engage with policymakers to push the clean cooking agenda. Our main role is advocacy. That means talking to government. It's about creating an enabling environment for the stoves and fuels to be commonplace. So we advocate for fiscal incentives, also for government to make the requisite budget allocations, and also for consumers to be aware because maybe some of us cook the way we do because we don't know that there are better options. This uh, dialogue on clean energy now is quite uh, aptly and it's quite uh, relevant because uh, it is in sync 
with the government priorities of uh, universal health care, by ensuring that we have less emissions, by ensuring that we have cleaner energy being used at home, uh, that women um, are safer when they are doing their domestic chores, uh, girls are also safer, and that uh, everybody at home, the, the home environment is safe for, for habitation. We know that in Kenya we lose 15,000 lives every year from a disease somebody got from indoor pollution due to cooking, which comes to an average of over 1,200 lives every month you know, on, on the average. So we don't want to lose that many people for something that is so easily fixed. We look forward to finalizing this process uh, successfully. We, we look forward to, as, as a project, demonstrating that civil society can be sustainable in a way and they can be capacitated. But we also want to um, demonstrate that advocacy can be fully realized in terms of uh, gaining results um, in policy adjustments, but in addition to that, into implementation. So it's one thing to have policies on the table, but it's also, to see, it's also good to see that governments are going to be investing in implementing this policies.